Namaste sisters, Donna Parto here, welcoming you to day 23 of our Hope Again series. Together we're studying my book, Becoming a Vessel of God's Power. And today I want to talk to you about the very important subject of behaving as God's child. And I want to give you one of my favorite prayers and one of my very favorite scripture verses. In fact, if you've ever heard me speak live, you've probably heard me teach on this verse because it's one of my... Uh, kind of signature verses. In fact, we have little mugs that we've made up with a verse on the back and it says, How great is the love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. That's 1 John 3, 1. You've got, you know, you've got to read that verse with attitude, otherwise it doesn't work. That's what we are. We're children of God. Of course, the front of the mug says PWA, princess with attitude, but anyway. <laughs> It's kind of silly. But we are daughters of the king. There's nothing silly about that. What's silly is when we go out into the world and we act like paupers instead of as daughters of the king. I once had someone say to me, it must be so hard. Everywhere you go, you have to be Donna Parto. I'm like, yeah, sometimes that is a bit tricky. But the deal is we are all someone special. Whether you've written a book or spoken to an audience, it doesn't matter because you are just as much a daughter of the king as I am or Joyce Meyer or Beth Moore, whoever your favorite Christian author and speaker is. You are just as much a representative of the king of kings as any one of us. And it's just as important for you to behave as God's child. And so today I want to share a prayer, and it's actually from one of my favorite books, Humility by Andrew Murray. And let me share this with you. It says, in time of trouble, in other words, in hopeless situations, or when you're waiting in the wrong line. Any of you always get into the wrong line at the grocery store or wherever you're going anyway. So in time of frustration or trouble, say, first, he brought me here. It is by his will I am in this place, in that will I rest. Next, he will give me grace in this trial to behave as his child. Then he will make the trial a blessing, teaching the lessons he means for me to learn and giving me all the grace that he intends. Last, in his good time, he can bring me out again, how and when only he knows. So meanwhile, say, I am here by God's appointment, in God's keeping, under his training, for his time. Sisters, we need to pray that prayer every day until it seeps deep down into our soul, into our mind, will, and emotions. So that whether we're at the grocery store or in traffic, uh, the driver's license renewal place at an airport, a parent-teacher meeting, wherever we are, we need to behave as God's child. We need to behave as daughters of the King. Well, that's my challenge to you today, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. God bless.